China now has the world's third largest aviation force. Here are the combat jets it's using to catch up with the West. China's Air Force and Navy now have over 2,800 aircraft, with approximately 2,250 of them being combat aircraft. It is the largest aviation force in the region and the third largest in the globe as a result of this development. In response to this expansion of that force, the Pentagon claims that China is rapidly catching up to the Western Air Forces. A new report from the United States Department of Defense DFD, on China's military said the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF, and People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, now constitute the largest aviation force in Asia and the third largest in the world. The PLAAF and the PLAN are now the largest air and naval forces in the world, according to DoD data released in November. Let's look briefly at today's topic. China now has the world's third largest aviation force. Here are the combat jets it's using to catch up with the West. If you want to know all the facts, then stick with us to the end of this video. But before that, please like and share this video, subscribe to our channel. In any case, we'll keep you up to date. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Let's get started. Including drones and instructional aircraft, the Pentagon believes that China has approximately 2,800 aircraft and those two forces, according to the Pentagon. The majority of them, about 2,250, are dedicated combat aircraft, including 1,800 fighters, of which approximately 800 are classified as fourth-generation jets. According to the report, the PLAAF in particular has moved its focus in recent years from territorial air defense to offensive and defensive operations resulting in the development of a force capable of projecting air power at a considerable distance, increasing the size of the fighter fleet. For much of the Cold War, the PLAAF was forced to rely on Chinese-built replicas of Soviet-designed aircraft. In the 1980s, China's first indigenous fighter, the J-8, was essentially an enlarged replica of one of the planes that had been copied before it. Even though it had a new nose and other improvements, the J-8 II was already outperformed by any possible competitors by the time it went into service in the early 1990s. The Chinese government began purchasing fourth-generation fighters from Russia in the early 1990s in order to increase its inventory and gain technical experience. Between 1992 and 2015, China purchased a number of Russian Su-27, Su-30 MKK and Su-35 fighter jets and immediately began producing its own copies of those aircrafts as soon as it received them. The J-11 was the first of these jets, and it was a licensed duplicate of the Su-27. Many of the Su-27's traits and capabilities were kept, including a 30mm gun, 10 missile hardpoints, a top speed of around Mach 2, and an operational ceiling of approximately 60,000 feet. It was intended to be a heavy air superiority fighter. Following the discontinuation of the J-11 manufacturing in 2004, China started producing the J-11B, which was a reverse-engineered variant of the J-11 in violation of the conditions of a co-production agreement with Russia. Currently, 297 J-11s in a variety of configurations are in service with both the PLAAF and the PLAN Aviation. The J-16 was introduced by the PLAAF in 2015. It is a continuation of the J-11 and is also based in part on the Su-30 MKK fighter aircraft. While the J-11 is designed for air superiority missions, the J-16 is a multi-role fighter that is capable of carrying out airstrikes as well as other missions. Additionally, it is equipped with 12 hardpoints for missiles and explosives in addition to a 30mm gun and an active electronically scanned array radar. More than 150 J-16s and a variety of configurations are in service with the PLAAF, which in November began combat training for the J-16D, an electronic warfare derivative of the aircraft. The J-10 is the most common model, and it is thought to be based on the Israeli IAI Lavi aircraft. There are around 488 J-10 variants in service with the PLAAF and PLAN Aviation according to estimates. Introduction The J-10 is a single-engine multi-role fighter with a delta wing and canard design that was first flown in 2005. The J-10 is armed with 11 hardpoints, an active electronically scanned air radar, and a 23mm gun as well as other weapons systems. It is thought to be capable of reaching speeds in excess of Mach 2 and to have an operational ceiling of approximately 60,000 feet, according to reports. The PLAN Aviation Force also possesses its own carrier-based fighter known as the J-15, which it uses to defend the country. 
In order to avoid Russia's refusal to sell the Su-33 carrier aircraft to China, China based the design of the J-15 on an unfinished prototype of a Su-33 carrier aircraft bought from Ukraine. At least 34 J-15s are currently in service with the Plan Aviation, and they are the only fixed-wing aircraft capable of flying aboard either of China's two national carriers, according to the company. They do, however, confront a number of challenges, including the fact that they are the heaviest carrier aircraft currently in service anywhere in the world. Bombers that are becoming increasingly capable. The H-6 strategic bomber and JH-7 fighter bomber are the only two dedicated bombers China currently operates following the retirement of the Q-5 fighter bomber in 2017. The H-6, which is a replica of the Soviet Tu-16, is a twin-engine jet bomber with a payload capacity of around 20,000 pounds of explosives. It is reported to be capable of achieving speeds of over 650 miles per hour and heights of over 40,000 feet in a single flight. Its 86 bomber fleet, which numbers more than 280 aircraft in service, with the PLAAF and PLAN is the largest in the world and it's comprised of a number of different types. In addition to updated engines, the HSXK is capable of transporting six standoff land attack cruise missiles, which can strike targets as far as the second island chain, which includes the United States Territory from Guam. The 86G and the 86J are naval variants, with the 86J being capable of carrying six anti-ship cruise missiles such as the YJ-12 posing a threat to aircraft carriers. The 86G and 86J are land-based variants of the 86. Among the most concerning is the 86N, which was publicly unveiled for the first time in 2019. Its fuselage has been modified to accommodate an air-launched ballistic missile, which is anticipated to be capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to a target on the ground. It is also the world's first nuclear-capable bomber with the capability of refueling in mid-flight. In October 2020, an X-6N was sighted with what appears to be a hypersonic weapon on board, according to reports. According to the Pentagon, China has probably already constructed a fledgling nuclear tribe, which is a nuclear weapons delivery system. The J-87 is designed for bombing missions, with a shorter range than the F-15. It was first used in 1992 and is armed with a 23mm cannon and has the capability to transport nearly 7 tons of explosives on 9 part points. It has a maximum altitude of approximately 50,000 feet and a high speed of approximately Mach 1. The J-87 is capable of transporting land attack and anti-ship weapons. There are approximately 216 service with the PLAAF and PLAN aviation. The future of 5th generation. The PLAAF's most cherished achievement has been the development of their 5th generation stealth fighter, the J-20 Mighty Dragon. J-20's design is most likely based on plans stolen from the United States stealth program. Although the actual characteristics of the aircraft are not publicly available, it is said to be capable of reaching speeds close to Mach 2 with a ceiling of approximately 60,000 feet and a range of nearly 700 miles at its utmost. In addition to its primary internal weapons bay, which can contain four long-range air-to-air missiles, it has two additional lateral weapons bays, each of which can hold a single shorter-range missile. The Chinese government is working on developing new stealth aircraft, including a nuclear-capable stealth bomber, likely to be named the H-20, which will have an operational range of 5,000 miles and be capable of carrying a payload of 10 tons. A second stealth fighter, the FC-31, is also being developed by China and it is expected to be the country's next carrier-based fighter aircraft replacing the J-15. A variant of the FC-31 was spotted flying in images released in October and it looked to include a catapult launch bar on the nose landing gear as well as wing folding systems. The People's Republic of China is developing additional technologies and skill sets that will allow it to get more out of its aircraft. As a result of engine problems that have plaged its planes, the military is making headway in constructing a more modern air-to-air -air missile armament. Improved aerial refueling capabilities have also been shown which according to the Pentagon will allow its jets to fly farther and for longer periods of time. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it really interesting and learned something new. If you have some questions then let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We will continue to add more videos to our library. As a result, your subscription and likes will motivate us to make more videos. Have a wonderful day.